Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, guys, we're going to use the formula work equals force times distance in order to calculate force and distance. This triangle can be really helpful because if you're looking for work, it's just force times distance. If you need force, it's work divided by distance. And if you need distance, it's work divided by force. So let's get started. During a race, a runner puts out 6,000 joules of work. If he runs a distance of 30 meters, how much force did the runner put out? So we're looking for force. Now, force is equal to work divided by distance. So we've got 6,000 joules. And I'm going to rewrite, instead of joules, I'm going to put newtons times meter. Because that's kind of how it's measured. And it's a distance of 30 meters. So now all I do, you can use a calculator for this. You just take uh, 6,000 divided by 30, and that gives you 200. So we have 200, but now let's look at the units. The meters cancel, and you're left in newtons. So it is a force of 200 newtons. Okay, let's see what we have next. It says, John's output of work was 16 joules. He pushed the sled with a force of 8 newtons. How far did he push the sled? I'm going to draw the triangle. We have work, force, distance. Okay, and we're looking for how far distance. Distance is work divided by force. The work was 16 Joules, I'm going to rewrite as newtons times meters. That's a bad line, by the way. And we have 8 newtons, okay? So 16 divided by 8, that is 2. Watch the units, the newtons cancel. So it's a distance of 2 meters. How about this next one? Okay, just for emphasis, work equals force times distance. Hard to read that W, but that is a W. Okay, it says it takes 500 joules of work to move a chair 20 meters. What force was needed? Okay, so we're looking for force. That's work divided by distance. You know the routine. Instead of joules, I'm going to write newtons times meters, and I'm going to divide that by 20 meters. 500, uh-oh, we have a bad, not a bad number, but it's not going to be round. We have five. Yeah, it will be. Divided by 20 equals 25. 500 divided by 20 is 25. Watch the units. Newtons. Don't really know what I was thinking there. No, thinking that 500 is not divided by 20, but I had a mental lapse. Sorry. Next and last one. Okay, by now we should be getting the hang of this. What distance was your bike moved by a force of 20 newtons if the work was 600 joules? Okay, you know the triangle. Okay, now we're looking for distance, and distance is equal to work divided by force. Work is 1,600 joules, newtons times meters, and I'm going to divide that by 20, and it is 20 newtons. 1,600 divided by 20 is 80 newtons cancel your left with meters so it's a distance of 80 meters i hope that helps in finding force and distance and remember kindness multiplies kindness be kind to someone today